Hello, everybody. It's me. It's Ann. I'm back. Yeah, I know. Can't get rid of me. I keep showing up. Anyway, Angie of 4F Beauty tagged me on something that I'm still trying to quite figure out how I'm supposed to do this. I don't own any Anastasia stuff. As far as I'm aware, I've never used any Anastasia stuff. Yes, the little dog is playing and he's going to make us all crazy by shaking the camera and the light and all of this. Anyway, she tagged me in the Frankenstasia tag. And that was to take an existing Anastasia palette and some of the other existing Anastasia products and create a palette that you think would be interesting to have. And I'm going, dear God, I've got to do some research. And I did. And I managed to pull together some stuff. And I'm going to end up showing you what I did in just a few minutes. Hopefully by then the dog will have settled down. Anyway, for any of you interested in strange things like my hair currently. Um, this was all one of my pin curl things and just combed out and set, basically. It just, there it is. Unfortunately, I had to go out in the wind a little bit before I got started filming, so some of it's not quite the way it was. All I can think of, though, is Molly Sugden is probably rolling in her grave from laughing because apparently I'm channeling Mrs. Slocum from Are You Being Served? And yeah, I think I've pretty much watched every episode, including where they tried putting together um, a spinoff after the store closed where they're all living in this place that's supposed to be their retirement and come to find out they're actually running a small hotel. So, it's like some retirement. But then again, we are talking Grace Brothers. Anyway, if you have never seen the show or have no idea what I'm talking about, Google it. Go watch. It's definitely dated humor. Definitely dated stuff. But some of it is just too interesting. In some of the initial episodes and seasons, there is a comedian called Trevor Banner who is playing the junior in a gentleman's department in a department store. And this show was originally set up to showcase him. And it didn't work that way. <laughs> it ended up being a real good ensemble crew. And Mr. Banner eventually left, and the rest of the ensemble stayed put. And the show just continued. And people loved it. There was great stuff in there. Like I said, though, it is dated. There is some definite chauvinistic stuff we don't much put up with anymore. Um, but, you know, if you can get over watching that kind of dated material, you know, things like the ladies know when somebody's going to pinch them and they, like, put a clipboard over it. 
kind of thing. But it's fun. It really is. There's a lot of really weird interactions between all of the characters that are just spectacularly silly. And to quote Mrs. Slocum, and I am unanimous in that. Anyway, I'm going to get on with trying to explain what I did on this Frankenstasia. I'm probably going to put pictures in here and you know, it, it's, it's strange and interesting stuff. I'm bringing up my notes on this. Now, I started off with the Anastasia Prism palette. There's a bunch of stuff in the Prism palette that I really like. But... I also picked up some of the other palettes because I thought they would be cool. And I decided I would replace bits and pieces in the Prism palette just to futz with it. So I picked out the Modern Renaissance, the Riviera, Norvina Pro 3, that's the orange one, and Self Made. That's an older palette, I think. I don't see a lot about it, but I found it on the Anastasia site. Um, looks like it's wearing a tweed jacket with a name badge on it. Kind of nifty. Anyway, Modern Renaissance, I picked up. Vermeer and Bon Fresco. In Riviera, I pulled Cabana and Monte Carlo. Norvina Pro 3, I picked up B4 and E1. From Self Made, I picked up Isla. Now, now, I am not in the math at all. Really not. I am not going to figure out the percentages. I'm sorry to both the originator of this and to Angie. No, not doing it. If somebody else wants to figure out percentages, have a blast. However, I'm going, I should have Put pictures up of each of the bits that I finished now I switched in. I'm going to show or should have shown a picture of what the prism looks like to start with and then I'm going to put up my version. Now for me this is not only going to be a short video, it's going to be a short video. There are no specific rules. There are no specific colors. It's just taking an, an, an existing Anastasia palette and fiddling with it until you think it's pretty cool. But you have to use existing colors that Anastasia has. So, yeah, whichever palette, singles, or whatever you want to drag in, go for it. But I'm about to start tagging a few people. Let's see. Leanne Soreo, Tattooed Mama, Riri, and Glamburger. 
Now, anybody else who follows my stuff, as far as I'm concerned, you're tagged too if you want to do it. Up to you. Like I said, I'm not an Anastasia chick. It's like I give Anastasia a passing glance when they bring out something new, but they don't fit my budget, so I don't think about them any more directly. Unless somebody's trying to do something and I want to be in on a collab and I go through all of my stuff and paw through it, paw through the stash until I find things that are close enough so I can, you know, participate if, the, if you know, an Anastasia palette is what's been picked. Now, we should have over here, ta-da, the new palette. I had fun with this. I really did. It was interesting. I had to fiddle with a bunch of stuff to get all the pictures to fit, and it, yeah. It just, it, yeah. Get the pictures to fit. Now, the other thing that I did, because this, yeah, this is the, the second time we've done the offshoot version here. It's like we got a change to the palette cover. And the person who originated this idea did it for, for his own reasons. His name's Ari. I've got all the contact and, and video stuff down in the description. Angie picked it up from Ari and decided it needed to be a tag. And I'm like, alrighty then. Let me see what I can come up with. And both of them completely changed the cover of the palette and all right where'd it go yes i'm looking for it looking for one of my pictures because i want it's like angie did an olive green cover that says frankenstasia and I think Ari did a green. No, an orange. Ari did an orange. I've got a sort of burgundy red. It's not deep, but I've got the Frankenstasia on there. Now, this is not intended to blow smoke up any you know, anybody's skirts about whether or not the palette was good enough the way it was or anything else. This is just a fun exercise of playing. And I added things to it that I thought, at least in my opinion, made it a little more fun. It's like the Prism palette has a very pale yellow, and I switched it out with a deeper yellow. The pinky color that's in the bottom right of the palette, when you're looking at it, I thought it was just not, yeah, it just wasn't right. I've got another pinky color in that corner. But it's, it's got more of a brown tone in it. It's like the brighter yellow I used is Cabana from Riviera. It, it just, 
and I picked up those two really nifty greens in the Nor Norvina Pro 3. The lime green that's way up in the top, and that kind of dusty green that's way down on the bottom corner. I wanted something to play with. I mean, there's a gorgeous orange in there. There's, you know, glitters. There's, it's, it just, it was kind of dull from just looking at it before. I think I spiced it up. Y'all may think I did a wreck. Anyway, I am going to let you tell me what you think, because you usually do anyway. I'm trying to put all the pictures away so that I can get back to see and make sure I'm actually in frame. <laughs> anyway, that's what I did. What are you going to do? Now, Angie actually did a little extra because she redid a ColourPop 9-pan, bringing up the difference between the Anastasia price point and the ColourPop price point. I mean, because if you redo, you know, if we actually had things like an actual collaboration, <laughs> yeah, not me. Um, with Anastasia. You know that palette is going to be somewhere near 50 bucks. Somewhere near it. And ColourPop, even on their collaborations, they don't come up that high it's more likely you'll be able to purchase. So, yeah, I might have to do that if I had my own brand thing, because I'm, if I had my own brand, I'd be a lot closer to ColourPop than I would Anastasia on price point. Anyway, that's the thing. Have fun. Remember, I do not have bail money. Stay out of trouble. Be good. Mm -hmm.